Hey, what's up everybody out there and welcome back to What's Shaken. I'm your host, Tom Cafferty. For today's show, I'm going to be walking you through how to create a Ramos Gin Fizz, originally called the New Orleans Gin Fizz. This cocktail was created by Henry C. Ramos at his New Orleans bar, the Imperial Club, in 1888. To this day, it remains one of New Orleans' most popular cocktails. Take a look at what you'll need to shake up this one. First things first, make sure you have a Collins glass chilling in your freezer so that by the time you're done shaking this whole thing up, you've got a freezing cold glass to strain your cocktail right into. So getting started, we're gonna go with a half ounce of lemon juice. Follow that up with a half ounce of lime juice. Half an ounce of simple sugar right after. And then we're gonna take a half ounce of Cream. You can use heavy whipping cream, half and half, whatever works for you. Now the original recipe does call for two to three dashes of orange blossom water or orange flower water. I like to bypass that all together. Just grab two orange peels and throw some zest right in on top of everything. So hold them skin side out and express the oils right into your shaker tin. Next up is our gin. I'll be using Aviation American Gin for this cocktail today. Not only because Deadpool was my favorite movie, but also because the botanicals used in this actually give off a lot of orange, lemongrass, and lavender notes, which really go great with what we're trying to do here. So you want to take two ounces of that gin, throw it right in your shaker tank. After that, you save your egg white for last. So what we're gonna do is crack this, juggle it, just the egg white in there, and get rid of the yolk. Now we're gonna do something called a dry shake. So don't put any ice in there yet. Take the other half of your tin, give it a nice shake. Now, fill your tin up with ice. No ice in your column glass. Now whip it, give it a really hard shake. Hawthorne strainer, get your chilled Collins glass right in. So as you can see, what we were doing there was emulsifying the egg white, giving it a nice like creamy foam right on top. Grab your soda water and give it a nice healthy pour. And what I'm gonna do for a garnish is I'm gonna take one more orange peel and zest it right on top. And that is how you get a Ramos Gin Fizz. Now remember, if you're fans of these videos, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, pass it on to whoever you might think needs a cocktail right now in this moment. And let me know in the comments what you want to see shaking up next time. We'll see you then.